Okay, if you uh, would have asked me that question five years ago, I probably would have been a little more biased towards the hub. Um, but now that we have a hub, a pedal, and a chain ring power meter, um, and, and, and obviously it have helped develop all those power meters, I really have a good perspective of measuring power in all the different locations, at least those three locations. Um, the power tap has some unique advantages. Um, the, uh, the way the torque tube is set up and the way the bearings are set up, they uh, keep all the uh, bending and, and unwanted loads to the measurement system away, and then measure, and met the torque tube measures the torque applied by the rider, and then of course angular velocity is in the wheel, and torque times angular velocity is power in watts. Um, and one other thing that's really neat, as I develop the other power meters, you really start to appreciate the uh, simplicity of the hub, uh, is the fact that angular velocity is pretty much always available as long as you're above 2.2 miles an hour. Um, the wheel is always spinning, so we always have angular velocity. Even when power is zero and you're coasting, angular velocity is always available, regardless of where you are within that second time frame that you know, every, all the data is sent out at a one second rate. Um, so the second you apply, or the, or the you know, millisecond that you apply torque, we have torque and angular velocity available, and we start sending that out immediately. Um, so that's kind of a cool feature of the hub. Uh, the other power meters, because they're in a place where you stop rotating, they take a while to come back to get angular velocity and, and torque at the same time, basically. Yeah. So it's, it's uh, hey, if you thought that. Uh, if you like that video. If you like that video, okay. Hey, if you like that video and want to watch more, click above.